Okay, after some scouting, we've decided to go for the lower falls, but if anybody's going to go for the upper falls, here's some uh, FYIs that we've discovered. So the trail continues along this ridge line here. There's a couple of bands of trees, one of them being right there, and one of them right there. That lead to the creek in there, and it seems as if you could access the double falls. However, in this band of trees, and I'll show you a picture later, uh, wait for the next video. So here's that band of trees I was pointing out. There's, there's a cliff band in there. Now, who knows if you can get around that? I'm not sure. However, in the closer band of trees to us, it looks a little bit more straightforward. Descend somehow from the ridge. But hit those trees, and then follow them down, and it appears like you'd end up oh, about there. Or no, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong band of trees. You'd end up right there, and then walk across the top of that snow, and it looks as you could scramble up that slope, so then you'd scramble up that slope, as I was saying, and access the double falls. However, our plan is to go down into the saddle right here, hopefully get down into this nice greenery, get onto the talus, and go all the way down to the, to the bottom falls down there. Wow, it's going to be a murder coming back up, but we'll see if we can do it.